You can live like everything is a miracle or you can live like nothing is a miracle. And I can honestly tell you, when you lose, when you live in a state of nothing is a miracle, I think that people get do get to a point of such high skepticism and cynicism that nothing seems like a miracle, that they lose their fascination for life. And I, I, I think it's an awful place to be because how can you miss so many miracles around you every day? Like, everything is a miracle. Like, I just, I, I'm always reminding myself how amazing life is. And a lot of people may think that I think that because everything's going my way. Jeez, you, gotta, you just got to talk to the people that I work with and they'll tell you that it, so much doesn't go our way, you know? And um, so many things don't work. And so many things cause pain and disappointment and discouragement. But I tell you what, all my best moments of growth have happened in those moments. I don't wish any of them away. It's such a blessing when you truly get it. But I do find miracles in everything. Just the whole concept of life, like what is this earth? Like what are we doing here? Like, how come there's so many different types of people and there's different types of species and you know like i just find everything i just find like i love animal documentaries and so i just find everything absolutely amazing or how our minds work and how is it that we've got so much ability to create and you know how how like i always ask myself you know like one of the questions i'm always exploring and i highly encourage you all to explore this is who are you you are, we have so much more than our names right because our name if somebody takes you strips you from your name does it change your whole identity? It doesn't. So that means your name is not you, it's just your name. So is, a, is your body you? Well, you look at your body in the mirror and you go, this is me, but you were you even when you were 10 years old, but you were in a different body. So like, what does that mean? So if, you're, if somebody, if I lose my arm in a car accident, will I stop being me? No. So if my arm is not me, then why is my body me? It's my body, it's my arm, but it's not me, right? There's more to me than my body. There's more to me than my name. There's more to me than my nationality. If I change my nationality, I migrate to Italy and become a citizen of Italy. Does that change who I am? No. So my nationality is also another um, label that I have. My occupation, if I, if I stop doing wealth advisory and I stop doing mentoring and I stop being an author and I started to become, I become, became a farmer, it would change what I do for an occupation, but would it change me innately? No. So, so question, like one of the questions that I've, I've, I'm constantly thinking about with absolute fascination is if you strip, and everyone should be asking themselves this question, if you're stripped of your name and you're stripped of your occupation and you're stripped of your, the way your body looks right now and you're stripped of your nationality, who would you be? Who are you?